Hello everybody, my name is Brian. Welcome to WorldCom EduSightWords Level 5. We are going to learn some easy words today. Are you ready? Let's begin. Today's words are Africa, Ocean, Will, Stay, Ten. Our first word is Africa. Africa is one of the seven continents of the world. It is south of Europe. It is connected to the Middle East. Zebras live in Africa. Or, how many countries can you name in Africa? Next, we have ocean. Did you know that the surface of the earth is mostly ocean? An ocean is a really, really, really big area of water. Most people say there are four oceans, the Pacific, the Atlantic, the Indian, and the Arctic. For example, whales live in the ocean. Or, the Pacific Ocean is the largest ocean on Earth. The next word is will. This is actually a combination of two words, we and will. We use this word in front of an action word that describes what we, as a group, will do in the future. For example, we'll go out with dad. Or, do you know if we'll have a test today? Next, we have stay. This word means that someone or something will not move. It will remain in the same place for a period of time. For example, I have to stay in bed today. Or, please stay here. Finally, we have 10. 10 is a number. When you count it, you use all the fingers on your hands. It is more than 9 and less than 11. Okay, 10. For example, we have 10 fingers, or 10 players are needed for this game. Okay, those are our words for today. Now it's time for practice and repeat. So let's practice. Repeat after me. Africa. Zebras live in Africa. Okay, good. Ocean. Whales live in the ocean. All right, good. Will. Will go out with dad. Okay, good job. Stay. I have to stay in bed today. All right, good. Last one. Ten. We have ten fingers. All right, good job, everybody. Now it's time for review. So let's read some sentences. But wait! Words are missing. Can we think? Of the missing words? For example, zebras live in beep. Hmm, what word can we use? Well, here are our study words Africa, ocean, will, stay, ten. Which one can we use? Yes, we can use. Africa. Zebras live in Africa. Right, good.
Next, we have beep fingers. Aha! We have ten fingers. All right. Next, whales live in the beep. Hmm. Aha! Whales live in the ocean. Okay, good. Next, I have to beep in bed today. Hmm. Ah, I have to stay in bed today. Okay, good. Last one, beep. Go out with dad. Hmm. Aha. Will go out with dad. Okay, good job. Sight word story. Okay, it's time for our sight word story. So let's read the sight word story together. Are you ready? Let's begin. Dad says that we'll go to Africa. We must fly in a plane over the ocean. We'll stay in a fancy hotel. We'll drive and see wildlife. There will be ten people in our group. Will you join us? Hmm, maybe. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's our story, and that is our lesson for today. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. Hello, everybody. My name is Brian. Welcome to WorldCom Edu Sight Words Level Five. We are going to learn some easy words today. Are you ready? Let's begin. Today's words are rain, evening, clothes, paint, similar. First, rain is water that falls from the sky. Sometimes it's just a little water, but sometimes it's really a lot of water. Okay, so plants need rain to grow, or this country gets a lot of rain. Next, we have evening. This word describes a part of the day. You wake up in the morning and go to school. You study until the afternoon. In the evening, you have dinner, do your homework, and go to bed. Okay. For example, we take a walk every evening, or I like the cool weather in the evening. Next, we have clothes. Clothes are the things we wear. They include your pants, your shirt, your shoes, even your socks. It is a plural word, which means we think of this word as a group of things. For example, we wear warm clothes, or I need new clothes. For school. Okay, good. Next, the word paint is an action word, but it can also be a thing. Right?、It、can be an action or a thing. Paint as a thing is a colored liquid that you put on something to change its color. When you do that, the action is called paint. So. I paint a wall with my dad. We use green paint. Okay, good. Finally, we have similar. We use this word to say that two things are almost the same, but there are just a few differences, not exactly the same. For example, they look. Quite similar, or these balls are similar but not quite the same. Okay, good. Those are our words for today. 
Now it's time for practice and repeat. So let's practice. Repeat after me. Rain. Plants need rain to grow. Okay, good. Next. Evening. We take a walk every evening. Okay, good. Next one. Clothes. We wear warm clothes. Okay, good. Paint. I paint a wall with my dad. Okay, good job. Last one. Similar. They look quite similar. All right, very good, everybody. Let's do the review. So, let's read some sentences. But wait, words are missing. Can we think of the missing words? For example, we take a walk every beep. Hmm. What word can we use? Well, here are our study words. Rain. Evening. Clothes. Paint. Similar. Which one can we use? Yes, we can use evening. We take a walk every evening. Good job. Next. I beep a wall with my dad. Hmm. Ah, I paint a wall with my dad. All right, good. Next, plants need beep to grow. Ah, plants need rain to grow. All right, good. Next one. They look quite beep. Hmm. Ah, they look quite similar. All right, good. Last one. We wear warm beep. Hmm. Aha. We wear warm clothes. Okay. Good job, everybody. Sight Word Story. Now it's time for our Sight Word Story. So let's read the Sight Word Story together. In the evening, we paint a picture. We wear old clothes. It doesn't matter if we get paint on our clothes. My picture is similar to Anne's picture. But my picture shows a sunny place. Anne painted rain in her picture. Okay, that's our story for today. And that is our lesson for today. Thank you for studying with me. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hello, everybody. My name is Brian. Welcome to WorldCom EduSight Words Level 5. We are going to learn some easy words today. Are you ready? Let's begin. Today's words are arms, size, third, race, person. Let's start with arms. What are arms? Oh, these are the things that hang on both sides of your body, on your right side and on your left side. You have hands at the end of your arms. Our example sentences are, the girl opens her arms, or raise your arms. Next we have size. What is size? Well, we use this word to talk about how big or small something is. That's its size. For example, the shoes are the same size. Or, I wear a small size. 
Next, we have third. When we are comparing things or people in a line, we use words like first, second, third. For example, I am third in line, right? Third in line. Or, I got third place in the race. Okay, and next we have race. We use the word race when two or more people or things are competing against each other. Usually, a race is a contest to see who is the fastest. For example, the children are having a race or let's race to school. Be careful. Okay. Our last word is person. You are a person. I am a person. Everyone around you is a person. When we talk about people but mean just one, we can say person. For example, a person is behind the door or he is an interesting person. Okay, those are our words for today. Okay, now it's time for practice and repeat. So let's practice. Repeat after me. Arms. The girl opens her arms. Good job. Size. The shoes are the same size. Okay, good job. Third. I am third in line. Good job. Race. The children are having a race. Okay, good job. Last one. Person. A person is behind the door. All right, good job, everybody. Now it's time for review. So let's read some sentences. But wait, words are missing. Can we think of the missing words? For example, a beep is behind the door. Hmm, what word can we use? Well, here are our study words. Arms, size, third, race, person. Which one can we use? Hmm, yes, we can use person. A person is behind the door. Good. Next one. The girl opens her beep. Hmm. Ah, the girl opens her arms. Good job. Next one. The shoes are the same beep. Hmm. Ah, the shoes are the same size. All right, good. Next one. I am beep in line. Hmm. Aha! Uh -huh. I am third in line. Good. Last one. The children are having a beep. Hmm. Ah, the children are having a race. All right. Good job, everybody. Sight Word Story. Okay, now it's time for the Sight Word Story. So let's read the story together. Are you ready? Let's begin. We have a race at school. I put on my running shoes. They are the best size for my feet. The coach raises his arms. We're off. I come in third. A person gives me a third place medal. Okay, good job. Okay, good story and good lesson. That's all for today. 
Thanks for studying with me. We'll see you next time. Hello everybody, my name is Brian. Welcome to WorldCom EduSight Words Level 5. We are going to learn some easy words today. Are you ready? Let's begin. Today's words are flowers, weather, hot, wish, whole. Let's start with flowers. Flowers are beautiful plants. They have many different shapes and bright colors. For example, many flowers are in the garden. Or, I gave flowers to my mom. Good idea. Okay, next we have weather. This word is used when we talk about rain or sunshine or wind. These are different kinds of weather. For example, the weather is very cold or the weather in autumn is beautiful. Next, we have hot. We use the word hot to say that something has a very high temperature. If something is too hot, it can burn us. So be careful. The water is very hot. Or, don't touch that. It's hot. Okay. Our next word is wish. When we really, really, really want something that seems difficult, we make a wish. For example, I wish to be a pilot. Or, we wish we lived on a big boat. Hmm, okay. Finally, we have hole. A hole is an empty space that has been made in something. Usually, holes can be in the ground, a piece of wood, or really anything. For example, a hole is in the tree. Or, let's hide the treasure in a hole. Okay, those are our words for today. Now it's time for practice and repeat. So, let's practice. Repeat after me. Flowers. Many flowers are in the garden. All right, good job. Next, weather. The weather is very cold. Okay, good job. Next, hot. The water is very hot. Okay, good. Next, wish. I wish to be a pilot. Okay, good. Last one. Hole. A hole is in the tree. All right, very good, everybody. Now it's time for review. So let's read some sentences. But wait, words are missing. Can we think of the missing words? For example, a beep is in the tree. Hmm, what word can we use? Well, here are our study words. Flowers, weather, hot, wish, whole. So, which one can we use? Yes, we can use whole. A hole is in the tree. Next, many beep are in the garden. Hmm, many, ah, many flowers are in the garden. Right, good. 
Next, I beep to be a pilot. Hmm. Ah, I wish to be a pilot. Okay, good. Next one, the beep is very cold. Ah, the weather is very cold. All right, good. Last one, the water is very beep. Hmm. The water is very hot. That's right. Okay, good job. Sight word story. Now it's time for our sight word story. So let's read the sight word story together. Are you ready? Let's begin. In the summer, the weather is hot. We go to our favorite swimming hole. It is in the river. Flowers grow on the sides of the river. I wish we could spend all summer here. Okay, good story. Maybe you have a favorite place for the summer too. Okay, that's our lesson for today. Thanks for studying with me. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. Hello, everybody. My name is Brian. Welcome to WorldCom Edu Sight Words Level Five. We are going to learn some easy words today. Are you ready? Let's begin. Today's words are train, round, smell, winter, became. Let's start with train. A train is a very long vehicle with many cars. It is pulled from the front by a very powerful engine. A train runs along a track. For example, we get on the train, or let's take a train to Pusan. Okay, <laughs> okay. Next, we have round. Round is a shape. It's like a circle. A round shape has no corners. For example, we have a round table, or balls. Have a round shape. Okay, good. Next, we have smell. Ah, a smell is something that your nose notices, just like a sound is something that your ears notice. When you smell something, you notice it with your nose. For example, the flowers smell sweet. Ah, good. Okay. Or, I can smell chocolate chip cookies. Where? No. Okay. <laughs> okay. Next, we have winter. Winter is a season, just like spring, summer, and autumn. But winter comes at the end of the year. It is the coldest season. For example. We go skiing in winter, or it snows during winter. We use became to say that in the past a situation changed. Maybe one thing turned into another thing. For example, we became friends, or the school became a hospital. Okay, those are our words for today. Okay, now it's time for practice and repeat. So let's practice. Repeat after me. Train. We get on the train. Okay, good. Round. We have a round table. Okay, good. Smell. The flowers smell sweet. Okay, good. Winter. 
We go skiing in winter. Okay, good job. Last one. Became. We became friends. Okay, very good. Okay, now it's time for review. So let's read some sentences. But wait, words are missing. Can we think of the missing words? For example, we have a beep table. Hmm, what word can we use? Well, here are our study words. Train. Round. Smell. Winter. Became. So, which one can we use? Ah, yes, we can use round. We have a round table. Good. Next one. The flowers beep sweet. Hmm. Ah, the flowers smell sweet. Okay, good job. Next one. We beep friends. Hmm. Ah, we became friends. All right, good. Next one. We get on the beep. Hmm. Ah, we get on the train. Okay, good. Last one. We go skiing in beep. Hmm. Ah, we go skiing in winter. All right, good job, everybody. Sight word story. Okay, now it's time for our sight word story. So let's read the sight word story together. You ready? Let's begin. Last winter, we took a trip by train. We walked into the train station. Can you smell that? asked Mom. It's the smell of roasting chestnuts. The chestnuts were small and round. We ate and became full. Hmm, delicious story. Okay, well, that's all for today. Thanks for studying with me. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. Hello, everybody. My name is Brian. Welcome to WorldCom Edu Sight Words Level 5. We are going to learn some easy words today. Are you ready? Let's begin. Today's words are raised, class, moon, island, filled. Our first word is raised. We use this word to describe a past action. If I raise something, it means I put it up from a low place to a high place. If I did it a while ago, I use the past form raised. For example, the man raised a flag or Jenny raised her hand. Next, we have class. You know this word. You have many classes at school. A class is a subject that is taught by a teacher to a group of students for a certain time. For example, I like English class or who is the smartest student in your class? Next, we have moon. A moon is a very big round object that circles around a planet. The moon is the big white object you see in the sky at night. It goes around the earth. For example, the moon comes up at night or Titan is a moon of Saturn. Next, we have island. 
An island is a piece of land that is completely surrounded by water. For example, we are near the island, or Australia is a huge island. Finally, we have filled. If a container is full of something, we can say that it is filled. We can also use this word as an action word. For example, the bottle is filled with milk, or I filled the jar with marbles. Okay, those are our words for today. Now it's time for practice and repeat. So let's practice. Repeat after me. Raised. The man raised a flag. Good job. Class. I like English class. Okay, good. Moon. The moon comes up at night. Okay, good job. Island. We are near the island. Okay, good job. Last one. Filled. The bottle is filled with milk. Okay, very good. Now it's time for review. So let's read some sentences. But wait, words are missing. Can we think of the missing words? For example, the bottle is beep with milk. Hmm, what word can we use? Well, here are our study words. Raised, class, moon, Island. Filled. Which one can we use? Yes, we can use filled. The bottle is filled with milk. Good job. Next one. We are near the beep. Hmm. Ah, we are near the island. Okay, good. Next one. I like English beep. Hmm. Ah, I like English class. Okay, good. Next one. The beep comes up at night. Hmm. Ah, the moon comes up at night. Okay, good. Last one. The man beep a flag. Ah, the man raised a flag. Okay, very good job, everybody. Sight Word Story. Now it's time for our Sight Word Story. So let's read the Sight Word Story together. Are you ready? Let's begin. My first class today was interesting. The teacher filled the chalkboard with pictures. He pointed to one. What is this? He asked. I raised my hand. It's the moon. That's right, said the teacher. And what is this? Jenny raised her hand. It's an island. You are correct, said the teacher. Okay, good. Okay, that's our lesson for today. And thank you for studying with me. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hello everybody, my name is Brian. Welcome to WorldCom EduSight Words Level 5. We are going to learn some easy words today. Are you ready? Let's begin. Today's words are sat, bed, grass, ahead, dry. First, we have 
sat. This word is used to talk about a past action. When you sit and you did that a while ago, you can say that you sat. For example, the woman sat on the sofa. Or after running, Hoon sat down. Next, we have bed. This is the piece of furniture that you sleep in. A bed has a frame, a mattress, and nice soft sheets and blankets to make you comfortable. For example, Rachel is making her bed, or it's time to go to bed. Next, we have grass. Grass are the small green plants that grow in a field. Together, they make the field look green. Grass is soft to walk or play on. For example, Dad is cutting the grass. Or, don't walk on the grass. Next, we have ahead. The word ahead describes a location. It means that something or someone is in front of you. For example, two cats are ahead of us. Or, my house is just up ahead. Finally, we have dry. When you dry something, you remove all the water from it. For example, I dry my hair. Or, the sun made the road dry. Okay, those are our words for today. Now it's time for practice and repeat. So, let's practice. Repeat after me. Sat. The woman sat on the sofa. Okay, good job. Bed. Rachel is making her bed. Okay, very good. Next one. Grass. Dad is cutting the grass. Okay, good job. Next one. Ahead. Two cats are ahead of us. All right, good job. Last one. Dry. I dry my hair. All right, very good job, everybody. Now it's time for review. So let's read some sentences. But wait, words are missing. Can we think of the missing words? For example, Dad is cutting the beep. Hmm, what word can we use? Well, here are our study words. Sat, bed, grass, ahead, dry. So which one can we use? Yes, we can use grass. Dad is cutting the grass. Okay, very good. Next, two cats are beep of us. Hmm, aha, uh -huh. two cats are ahead of us. Okay, good job. Next, the woman beep on the sofa. Hmm, ah, the woman sat on the sofa. Okay, good job. Next one, I Beep my hair. Hmm. Ah, I dry my hair. Good. Last one. Rachel is making her beep. Hmm. Ah, Rachel is making her bed. All right. Very good job, everybody. Sight word story. Now it's time for the sight word story. So, let's read the sight word story together. Are you ready? Let's begin. 
We went on a long hike this morning. The sun was shining. Timmy ran ahead of us. I was tired. Sit on the grass, said Dad. I sat down. I want to go to bed, I said. We can take a short nap here, said Dad. The grass is dry and warm. Hmm, good place for a nap. Okay, well, that's our story for today. Thanks for studying with me. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to WorldCom Edu Sight Words Level 5. My name is Brian. We are going to learn some easy words today. So, are you ready? Let's begin. Today's words are shape, smiled, broken, wheels, front. First, we have shape. This word is used to say what something looks like. If it is round, it has a round shape. If it is square, it has a square shape. For example, they have the same shape. Or, let's cut the paper into the shape of a person. Next, we have smiled. The word smiled is used to say that in the past you made a smile. A smile is when you turn the corners of your mouth up to show that you are happy. For example, the children smiled at me or I smiled at the doggy. Ah, very cute. Okay, <laughs> next. We use the word broken to say that something does not work anymore. This happens when something is damaged, like a cell phone or a computer. For example, my chair is broken or the cell phone is broken. I dropped it. Oh, that's too bad. Okay, next we have wheels. Okay? The word wheels is used to talk about many wheels. Of course, a wheel is a round object on a vehicle that lets it move easily over the ground. And of course, vehicles usually have several wheels. For example, a car has wheels or my bicycle has two wheels. Finally, we have front. This word means uh, what is at the front or the, the part of something that is at the beginning, right? So if you talk about your body, this is your front. It's the opposite of your back. We can also use front to say where something is. For example, the bus is in front of the school, or I stand in front of the chalkboard. Okay, those are our words for today. Now it's time for practice and repeat. So let's practice. Repeat after me. Shape. They have the same shape. Okay, good. Next. Smiled. The children smiled at me. Okay, good. Next. Broken. My chair is broken. All right, good. Next. Wheels. A car has wheels. Okay, good job. Last one. 
front. The bus is in front of the school. Okay, very good job, everybody. Okay, now it's time for review. So let's read some sentences. But wait, words are missing. Can we think of the missing words? For example, the children beep at me. Hmm, what word can we use? Well, here are our study words. Shape, smiled, broken, wheels, front. Which one can we use? Yes, we can use smiled. The children smiled at me. Okay, good job. Next one. A car has beep. Hmm. Aha. A car has wheels. Okay, good. Next one. They have the same beep. Hmm. Ah. They have the same shape. Okay, good. Next one. The bus is in beep of the school. Hmm. Aha. The bus is in front of the school. Okay, very good. Last one. My chair is beep. Hmm. Ah. My chair is broken. Okay, good job, everybody. Sight word story. Now it's time for the sight word story. So let's read the sight word story together. Can I ride on your bike? asked Tina. Me too, said Jane. Okay, I said. But you have to ride on the front, Jane. Sit on the handlebars. Both girls smiled. It was hard to turn the wheels. Suddenly, we crashed. Oh no, I said. The shape of my front wheel is not a circle. I think my bike is broken. I won't take two passengers again. Good idea. Be careful when riding a bike. Okay, that's our story for today, and that's our lesson for today. Thank you for studying with me. See you next time. Bye bye. Hello, everybody. My name is Brian. Welcome to WorldCom EduSight Words Level Five. We are going to learn some easy words today. Are you ready? Let's begin. Today's words are beautiful, months, ready, heavy, bare. First, we have beautiful. We use this word to say that something is very, very pretty. It is good to look at something beautiful. For example, the castle looks beautiful, or the beautiful woman is my mother. Ah, good sentence. Okay. Next, we use months to talk about time. One month is about thirty or thirty-one days, so several months are a very long time. For example. A year has twelve months, or summer is three months long. Next, we have ready. If you are ready, you are prepared. You don't need any more time or things to do something. You can do it right away. For example, we are ready to run, or. I'm ready to play. Next, we have heavy. We use this word to talk about the weight 
of something. If something is light, we can pick it up easily. But if it is heavy, oh, it is very hard to pick it up. For example, the box is too heavy to move, or the strong man is very heavy. Okay. Finally, we have bear. A bear is a big animal that lives in forests and mountains. Because they are very big, they can be dangerous. So be careful around bears. For example, the bear sleeps in winter. Or we saw a bear at the zoo. Okay, those are our words for today. Now it's time for practice and repeat. So let's practice. Repeat after me. Beautiful. The castle looks beautiful. Okay, good job. Next, months. A year has 12 months. Okay, good job. Next one, ready. We are ready to run. Okay, good. Next one, heavy. The box is too heavy to move. Okay, good job. Last one, bear. The bear sleeps in winter. Okay, very good job, everybody. Now it's time for review. So let's read some sentences. But wait, words are missing. Can we think of the missing words? For example, the box is too beep to move. Hmm, what word can we use? Well, here are our study words. Beautiful, months, ready, heavy, bear. Which one can we use? Yes, we can use heavy. The box is too heavy to move. Okay, good. Next one. We are beep to run. Hmm, ah. We are ready to run. Okay, good. Next one. A year has 12 beep. Hmm. Ah, a year has 12 months. Okay, good job. Next one. The beep sleeps in winter. Hmm. Ah, the bear sleeps in winter. Okay. Last one. The castle looks beep. Hmm. Ah, the castle looks beautiful. Okay, good job, everybody. Sight Word Story. Now it's time for the Sight Word Story. So let's read the Sight Word Story together. Are you ready? Let's go. The mountains are beautiful in winter, but the bear doesn't care. He sleeps for three months. When spring comes, he is ready to wake up. He used to be heavy. Now he is thin and hungry. So be careful. <laughs> okay. Well, that's our lesson for today. Thanks for studying with me as always. See you next time. Bye-bye. Hello, everybody. My name is Brian. Welcome to WorldCom EduSight Words Level 5. We are going to learn some easy words today. Are you ready? Let's begin. Today's words are blue, circle, brought,
build teacher. Let's start with blue. Blue is a color. It is the color of the sky and of the deep blue ocean. For example, I wear a blue skirt or the sky is blue. Next we have circle. What is a circle? Well, a circle is a shape. You can draw a circle on a piece of paper. It is completely round with no corners. Also, it is the same distance across it no matter where you look. Our example sentence, she draws a circle. Or, can you draw a perfect circle? Well, it's, that's a little difficult. Okay. Next, we have brought. This is the past action of bring. If you bring something, which means you carry something with you when you go somewhere, but you did it a while ago, you can say brought. For example, Joanne brought a nice doll, or we brought snacks to school. Next, we have build. We use the word build when we make something by putting things together, like paper or wood or plastic. Uh, we could build a robot out of plastic pieces, or we can build a small house out of building blocks. For example, the children build a sandcastle, or I want to build a spaceship. Okay, our last word is teacher. You know this word. You probably have many teachers at school and at home. Of course, a teacher at school teaches you a subject like math or English. Your teachers at home are your mom and dad. They teach you about life. Okay, for example, Miss Vicky is our English teacher, or I want to be a teacher. Okay, those are our words for today. Now it's time for practice and repeat. So, let's practice. Repeat after me. Blue. I wear a blue skirt. Okay, good job. Circle. She draws a circle. Okay, good. Brought. Joanne brought a a nice doll. Okay, good. Build. The children build a sandcastle. Last one. Teacher. Miss Vicky is our English teacher. All right, good job. Now it's time for review. So let's read some sentences. But wait, words are missing. Can we think of the missing words? For example, she draws a beep. Hmm, what word can we use? Here are our study words. Blue. Circle. Brought. Build. Teacher. Which one can we use? Yes, we can use circle. She draws a circle. Good job. Okay, next one. Joanne, beep, a nice doll. Hmm. Ah, Joanne brought a nice doll. Okay, good. Next one. Miss Vicky is our English beep. Hmm. Ah, Miss Vicky 
is our English teacher. All right, good. Next one. I wear a beep skirt. Hmm. Ah, I wear a blue skirt. Okay, good. Last one. The children beep a sandcastle. Hmm. Ah, the children build a sandcastle. All right, good job, everybody. Sight word story. Now it's time for our sight word story. So let's read the sight word story together. Are you ready? Let's begin. Miss Elsie is our art teacher. Yesterday, she brought some paper and glue to class. Let's build an island, she said. The island is a perfect circle. We can use blue paper to make the ocean around it. This is a fun art project. All right, very good. Okay, that's our lesson for today. Thanks for studying with me. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. Hello, everybody. My name is Brian. Welcome to WorldCom Edu Sight Words Level Five. We are going to learn some easy words today. Are you ready? Let's begin. Today's words are sister, drive, heat, beside, half. Let's start with sister. Not everyone has a sister. If your mom and dad have more children than you, and one or more of those children is a girl, then she is your sister. Of course, you could have more than one sister. Our example sentence is: Mark has a sister, or my sister. Is older than me. Next, we have drive. You are probably too young to drive a car, but you could drive a toy car. To drive means to make a car go somewhere else. For example, Mom learns to drive, or I can't drive. Until I'm older. Next, we have heat. This is when the temperature gets very high. If there is a lot of energy from the sun or a heater in your room, this energy is called heat. It can be dangerous, so be careful. For example, we use heat. For cooking, or I can feel the heat from the stove. Okay, our next word is beside. This word tells us where something is. If something is beside another thing, it is next to it. For example, my dog sits beside me, or my house. Is beside a park. Finally, we have half. This is a very useful word when you want to share something. Let's say you have a whole sandwich.、Mm. You can cut it in half so that you have two equal pieces. Then you can give one half to your sister. Okay. For example. Mom cuts the apple in half, or let's each take half. Okay, those are our words for today. Now it's time for practice and repeat. So let's practice. Repeat after me. Sister, 
Mark has a sister. Okay, good. Drive. Mom learns to drive. Okay, good. Next, heat. We use heat for cooking. Okay, good job. Next one, beside. My dog sits beside me. Okay, good. Last one, half. Mom cuts the apple in half. Okay, good job, everybody. Now it's time for review. So let's read some sentences. But wait, words are missing. Can we think of the missing words? For example, my dog sits beep me. Hmm, what word can we use? Well, here are our study words. Sister, drive, heat, beside, half. So, which one can we use? Hmm, aha, uh -huh. yes, we can use beside. My dog sits beside me. Okay, next one. We use beep for cooking. Hmm. Ah, we use heat for cooking. Good. Next one. Mark has a beep. Hmm. Ah, Mark has a sister. All right, good. Next one. Mom cuts the apple in beep. Hmm. Ah, Mom cuts the apple in half. Last one. Mom learns to beep. Hmm. Ah, Mom learns to drive. Okay, very good. Sight Word Story. Now it's time for our sight word story. So, let's read the sight word story together. Are you ready? Let's begin. My sister learns to drive. The car stops suddenly beside a gas station. A lot of heat comes from the engine. There is a man at the station. He gives my sister a big bottle of water. Pour half of it on the engine, he says. The car cools down. We can drive again. Okay, interesting story. Okay, well that's our lesson for today. Thanks for studying with me. We'll see you next time. Take care. Hello everybody, my name is Brian. Welcome to WorldCom EduSite Words Level 5. We are going to learn some easy words today. Are you ready? Let's begin. Today's words are forest, let's, wide, by, born. Let's start with forest. A forest is a very large area covered by trees, but it has to be a lot of trees. For example, many trees are in the forest, or don't get lost in the forest. Okay, next we have let's. This is actually a combination of two words, let and us. We use it when we want to make a suggestion or say what we want to do 
as a group. For example, let's go out and play ball, or let's have lunch together. Okay, it's a very useful word. Our next word is wide. This word tells us about the size of something. Usually, an object has length, which tells us how long it is. But what about the other direction? That's when we can say how wide it is. It can be wide or it can be thin. For example, the river is wide, or I have a very wide mouth. Okay. Next, we have buy. When you go to a store and use money to get something, you buy it. For example, I will buy chocolate, or my mom will buy me a present. Finally, we have born. This is an action word. Everyone does it only once. When you came into this world, you were born. Everybody was born. Okay. For example, the baby was just born, or my baby sister was born yesterday. Okay. Those are our words. For today, now it's time for practice and repeat. So let's practice. Repeat after me. Forest. Many trees are in the forest. Okay, good. Next, let's. Let's go out and play ball. Okay, good job. Wide, the river is wide. Okay, good. Next, buy. I will buy chocolate. Okay, good. Last one, born. The baby was just born. Okay, very good job. Now it's time for review. So let's read some sentences together. But wait, words are missing. Let's think of the missing words. Okay, for example, many trees are in the beep. Hmm, what word can we use? Well, here are our study words. Forest. Let's. Wide. By. Born. So which one can we use? Yes, we can use forest. Many trees are in the forest. Okay, good. Next one. The baby was just beep. Hmm. Ah, the baby was just born. All right, good. Next, the river is beep. Hmm. Ah, the river is wide. Okay. Next one, beep. Go out and play ball. Hmm. Let's go out and play ball. That's right. Okay, good. Last one, I will beep. Chocolate. Hmm. Ah, I will buy chocolate. Okay, good idea. <laughs> well, be careful. Okay, <laughs> those. Good job, everybody. Sight word story. Okay, now it's time for our sight word story. So let's read the sight word story together. Are you ready? Let's begin. Let's buy a book of fairy tales. A prince was born in a kingdom. He grew up strong and brave. He decided to kill a monster in the forest. He crossed a wide river, 
Then he met the monster, but the monster was nice. The prince and monster became friends. Okay, it's a surprise ending. Okay, good story. That's a good lesson. That's it for today. Thank you for studying with me. We'll see you guys next time. Take care. Hello, my name is Brian. Welcome to WorldCom EduSight Words Level 5. We are going to learn some easy words today. Are you ready? Let's begin. Today's words are rest, pushed, picked, gave, can't. Our first word is rest. When you stop working for a while because you are tired, you rest. For example, Dad is taking a rest or take a rest after working hard. It's a good idea. Next, we have pushed. This is the past action of push. When you push something, which means you put your strength behind something to move it, but you did it a while ago, you pushed it. For example, I pushed the box hard. Or, who pushed Timmy? Oh, that's not good. Okay. Next, we have picked. This is the past action of pick. When you pick something, which means you choose something or you take a plant from uh, a tree or the ground, but you did it in the past, you picked it. For example, I picked some flowers, or Joy picked a red hat for her present. Next, we have gave. This is the past action of give. When you give something, which means you let someone have one of your things, but you did it a while ago, you gave it. For example, my friend gave the book to me, or my dad gave me this pen. Finally, we have can't. This is a combination of two words, can and not. Can't. It means that you are not able to do something or that you do not have permission to do something. For example, I can't answer some questions or I can't go out at night. Okay, those are our words for today. Okay, now it's time for practice and repeat. So let's practice. Repeat after me. Rest. Dad is taking a rest. Okay, good job. Pushed. I pushed the box hard. Okay, good. Picked. I picked some flowers. Okay, good job. Next, gave. My friend gave the book to me. Okay, good. Last one, can't. I can't answer some questions. All right, good job, everybody. Now it's time for review, so let's read some sentences. But wait, words are missing. Can we think of the missing words? Yes, we can. Okay, <laughs> for example, I beep some flowers. Hmm, what word can we use? Well, 
Here are our study words. Rest. Pushed. Picked. Gave. Can't. Which one can we use? Yes, we can use picked. I picked some flowers. Okay, good. Next, my friend beep the book to me. Hmm, ah, my friend gave the book to me. Okay, good. Next one, dad is taking a beep. Hmm, ah, dad is taking a rest. Okay, next one, I beep answer some questions. Ah, I can't answer some questions. Okay, next one, I beep the box hard. Hmm, ah, I pushed the box hard. Okay, very good job, everybody. Sight Word Story Now it's time for the Sight Word Story. So let's read the Sight Word Story together. Are you ready? Let's begin. Our teacher gave us a test today. I hope I picked all the right answers. After the test, we took a rest. We pushed our desks against the walls. I can't push my desk, said Sally. Don't worry, I said. I will help you. Okay, good story. Okay, that's our lesson for today. Thanks for studying with me. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hello everybody, my name is Brian. Welcome to WorldCom EduSite Words Level 5. We are going to learn some easy words today. Are you ready? Let's begin. Today's words are machine, west, bought, sun, died. First, we have machine. A machine is a tool that uses electricity. The electricity makes parts of the machine move and it does some kind of useful work for us. For example, I can use a washing machine or a car is a type of machine. Next, we have west. This is a direction like north, south, and east. West is the opposite of east. The sun rises in the east and goes down in the west. Our example sentence, the plane flies west, or the explorers went west. Next, we have bought. This is the past action of buy. When you buy something, which means you go to a store and pay money to get something, but you did it a while ago, you bought it. For example, Dad bought me a toy car, or I bought an ice cream cone. Okay. Next, we have sun, S-O-N. The word sun describes a member of your family. If your dad has a boy child, that is his son. Of course, if your mom has a boy child, that is also her son. Okay. If you are a boy, you are the son of your mother or your father. For example, the man is playing with his son, or mom has two daughters and a son. So, two girls and a boy. Finally, we have died. 
This is the past action of die. When an animal dies, it stops living. If it happened a while ago, it died. For example, the old tree died, or the evil dragon died in the story. Okay, so we can see it's not just animals, it's also plants. When something is alive and it's not alive anymore, it dies. Okay, so those are our words for today. Now it's time for practice and repeat. So let's practice. Repeat after me. Machine. I can use a washing machine. Okay, good. Next, west. The plane flies west. Okay, good. Bought. Dad bought me a toy car. Okay, good job. Next, son. The man is playing with his son. Okay, good job. Next, died. The old tree died. Okay, good job. Now it's time for review. So let's read some sentences together. But wait, words are missing. Can we think of the missing words? For example, dad beep me a toy car. So what word can we use in the blank? Well, here are our study words. Machine, west, bought, son, died. Which one can we use? Yes, we can use bought. Good. Dad bought me a toy car. Okay, next. The man is playing with his beep. Hmm. Ah, the man is playing with his son. Next. I can use a washing beep. Hmm. Ah, I can use a washing machine. Good. Next one. The old tree beep. Hmm. Ah, the old tree died. Mm, okay, last one. The plane flies beep. Hmm. Ah, the plane flies west. Okay, good job, everybody. Sight word story. Now it's time for our sight word story. So let's read the sight word story together. Are you ready? Let's begin. I bought a ticket for an interesting movie. A machine traveled through time. It wanted to kill the son of a famous person. But the machine became the son's friend. In the end, the machine died to protect the son. The son escaped into the West. Interesting story. Okay, well, that's our lesson for today. Thanks for studying with me. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hello, everybody. My name is Brian. Welcome to WorldCom EduSite Words Level 5. We are going to learn some easy words today. Are you ready? Let's begin. Today's words are milk, soft, desert, truck, cat. First, we have milk. Milk is something you drink. It is white and comes from cows. It is good for you. Cows give us milk, or I put milk on my cereal. Next, we have soft. 
Soft is used to describe how something feels when you touch it. Soft is nice and smooth, not my hand. <laughs> and you can press it, you can press it in a little. It is the opposite of hard, right? For example, my new pillow is soft. Ah, it's nice. Or silk is a very soft material. It's not silk. Okay. Next, we have desert. A desert is a place, like mountains or the coast. But in a desert, there is very little water. Because there is very little water or no water, there are no plants, or sometimes a few plants, but sometimes strange plants. For example, camels live in the desert, or we can see strange plants in the desert. Next, we have truck. A truck is a type of vehicle. It is big, and it can carry a lot of things. For example, my dad drives a big truck. Or, be very careful around the truck. That's a good idea. Okay. Finally, we have cat. A cat is an animal. Many people like to have a cat as a pet. They are soft and make a meow sound. <laughs> okay. For example, the cat is playing. Or, my dog was scared by a cat, huh, which is true. My dog sometimes is scared of a cat. Okay, those are our words for today. Okay, now it's time for practice and repeat. So, let's practice. Repeat after me. Milk. Cows give us milk. Okay, good. Next, soft. My new pillow is soft. Okay, good job. Next, desert. Camels live in the desert. Okay, good job. Truck. My dad drives a big truck. Okay, good. Last one. Cat. The cat is playing. Okay, very good job, everybody. Now it's time for review. So let's read some sentences together. But wait, words are missing. Can we think of the missing words? For example, my new pillow is Beep. Okay. What word can we use? Well, here are our study words. Milk. Soft. Desert. Truck. Cat. So, which one can we use? Hmm. Mm, it's nice. Okay. Yes, we can use soft. My new pillow is soft. That's nice. Okay, good. Next, my dad drives a big beep. Hmm. Ah, my dad drives a big truck. Good. Next, cows give us beep. Hmm. Ah, cows give us milk. Okay, good. Next, the beep is playing. Hmm. Ah, the cat is playing. Okay, good. Last one. Camels live in the beep. Hmm. Ah, camels live in the desert. Okay, very good. Sight word story. Okay, now it's time for the sight word story. So, let's read the sight word story together. Are you ready? Let's begin. A truck drives through the desert. 
A cat sits in the passenger seat. It wants some milk. The driver pets the soft cat. He promised to stop at the next town. Then I will buy you all the milk you want. He says, "Okay, that's a nice truck driver." Okay, that's our story for today. Thank you for studying with me, as always. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. Hello, everybody. My name is Brian. Welcome to WorldCom Edu Sight Words Level Five. We are going to learn some easy words today. Are you ready? Let's begin. Today's words are past, happy, sky, cows, wall. First, we have past. This word has a few meanings, but the one we will learn today means that you go buy something. If you are moving and you move by something, you go past it. For example, we walk past a school, or she walked past me without saying hi. Okay. <laughs> Next, we use happy to talk about our feelings when everything is good and we like the people we are with. We like the place we are in, or we like what we are doing. Then we are happy. For example, we are a happy family, or sunshine on the water makes me happy.、Hmm, sounds like a song. Okay, next one. Next we have sky. Go outside and look up. But not now. Later, after the lesson. Whew, okay, then you will see the sky. But if there are clouds, you can't see the sky. It is the sky is blue and clear. Okay. For example, the sun is up in the sky, or birds fly through the sky. Okay. Next we have cows. Cows are big animals. Farmers raise them for milk and meat. For example, the cows are eating grass, or cows are very big. Finally, we have wall. Walls are very useful. There are four walls in the room you are in right now. A wall is used with other walls to make a building stand up. For example, the pictures are on the wall, or there are some cracks in the wall. That's not good. <laughs> okay, okay. Those are our words for today. Now it's time for practice and repeat. So let's practice. Repeat. After me, are you ready? Let's start. Past, we walk past a school. All right, good job. Next, happy, we are a happy family. Okay, good. Next, sky, the sun is up in the sky. Okay, good. Next, cows. The cows are eating grass. Okay, good. Last one. Wall. The pictures are on the wall. All right. Very good job, everybody. Okay, now it's time for review. So, let's read some sentences. But wait, words are missing. 
Can we think of the missing words? For example, we are a beep family. Hmm, what word can we use? Well, here are our study words. Past, happy, sky, cows, wall. So, which one can we use? Yes, we can use happy. We are a happy family. Okay, good. Next one. The pictures are on the peep. Hmm. Ah, the pictures are on the wall. Good. Next one. The sun is up in the peep. Ah, the sun is up in the sky. Good. Next one. We walk beep a school. We walk past a school. Okay, good. Last one. The beep are eating grass. Hmm. Aha.、Uh-huh. The cows are eating grass. Okay, very good, everybody. Sight word story. Okay, now it's time for our sight word story. So, let's read the sight word story together. Are you ready? Let's begin. We ride our bikes in the countryside. The sun is shining and the sky is blue. We ride past some cows. They are big. We are happy there is a wall between us. Okay, interesting story. Okay, that is our lesson for today. I hope you've learned some good words. Thank you for studying with me, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye bye. Hello, everybody. My name is Brian. Welcome to WorldCom Edu Sight Words Level Five. We are going to learn some easy words today. Are you ready? Let's begin. Today's words are store, catch, window, seeds, doesn't. Let's start with store. A store is a building that you go inside to buy something. There are many kinds of stores. For example, we like going to the toy store, or Mom wants to buy something from the store. Next, we have catch. This is an action word. When you catch something, you grab it with your hands. For example, he can catch the ball, or I threw it, but he didn't catch it. Okay. Next, we have window. A window is an opening in a wall. It is usually made of glass. You can look through it to see the outside from inside your home. For example. Mom cleans the window, or our apartment has a very big window. The word "seeds" is used to talk about more than one seed. A seed is what a plant grows from. If you have many seeds, you can plant them, and many plants will grow from them. Our example sentence. The seeds will become flowers, or we plant seeds for science class. Finally, we have doesn't. This word is a combination of two words: does and not. We use doesn't with one person or one thing to say that. It cannot or will not do some action. For example, Paul doesn't have an umbrella, or 
She doesn't know the answer. Okay, those are our words for today. Now it's time for practice and repeat. So let's practice. Repeat after me. Store. We like going to the toy store. Good. Next. Catch. He can catch the ball. Okay, good. Next. Window. Mom cleans the window. Okay, good. Next. Seeds. The seeds will become flowers. Okay, good. Last one. Doesn't. Paul doesn't have an umbrella. Okay, very good job. Now it's time for review. So let's read some sentences. But wait, words are missing. Can we think of the missing words? For example, the beep will become flowers. Hmm, what word can we use? Well, here are our study words. Store, catch, window, Seeds. Doesn't. Which one can we use? Hmm. Yes, we can use seeds. The seeds will become flowers. All right, good. Next one. Paul Beep have an umbrella. Hmm. Ah, Paul doesn't have an umbrella. All right, good. Next. He can beep the ball. Hmm. Aha. He can catch the ball. Yes, very good. The next one. Mom cleans the beep. Hmm. Aha. Mom cleans the window. All right, good. Last one. We like going to the toy beep. Hmm. Aha. We like going to the toy store. Okay, very good. Sight Word Story Now it's time for our Sight Word Story. So, let's read the Sight Word Story together. Are you ready? Let's begin. My brother is in his room. He doesn't see me outside. I knock on his window. Tuck, tuck, tuck. I am hungry, I say. Throw me some sunflower seeds. My brother opens the window. He throws the seeds. I catch them. Thank you, I say. I will buy you some more at the store. Hmm, interesting story. Okay, good. That's our story for today. That's our lesson for today. Thanks for studying with me. See you next time. Bye-bye. Hello, everybody. My name is Brian. Welcome to WorldCom EduSightWords Level 5. We are going to learn some easy words today. Are you ready? Let's begin. Today's words are felt, farmers, yellow, present, difficult. Let's start with felt. This is the past action of feel. When you feel something, which means you experience some emotion or condition, you felt it. Okay, when you feel something in the past, you felt it. For example, Lisa felt hungry. Or, we felt happy after the movie. That was a good movie. 
Okay. Next, we have farmers. Farmers are many farmers. Okay. A farmer is a person who has a certain job. The farmer's job is to raise plants or animals for our food. Okay, that's a farmer, and many of them are farmers. Okay, for example, my grandparents are farmers, or farmers have a difficult job. That's true. Okay, next, next we have yellow. Yellow is a color. It is the color of the sun. But don't look at the sun. Okay. <laughs> Yellow is also commonly used for rain clothes. It's a bright color, so other people can see you easily in the rain if you're wearing a yellow rain jacket. Okay. Okay. Our sentence: Our school bus is yellow, or she wore a yellow rain jacket. Okay. Our next word is. Present, when you want to give someone something nice for their birthday or other special occasion or just because, you can give them a present. That's nice. Okay, I got a birthday present. Or let's buy a present for Dad. Good idea. Okay. <laughs> Finally, we have difficult. If something is difficult, it takes a lot of work to do. It is hard to do. For example, the question is difficult, or these words are not difficult. Right? I hope not. Okay, good. Those are our words for today. Now it's time for practice and repeat. So. Let's practice. Repeat after me. Ready? Let's go. Felt. Lisa felt hungry. All right. Good. Next one. Farmers. My grandparents are farmers. Okay. Good. Next. Yellow. Our school bus is yellow. Okay, good. Next, present. I got a birthday present. Okay, good. Last one, difficult. The question is difficult. Okay, good job, everybody. Now it's time for review. So let's read some sentences. But wait, words are missing. Can we think of the missing words? For example, the question is beep. Hmm. What word can we use? Well, here are our study words: felt, farmers, yellow. Present. Difficult. Which one can we use? Yes, we can use difficult. The question is difficult. Okay, good. Next, our school bus is beep. Hmm. Ah, our school bus is yellow. Okay, good. Next one, Lisa beep hungry. Hmm. Ah, Lisa felt hungry. Okay, good. Next one. I got a birthday beep. Hmm. Ah, I got a birthday present. Okay, good. Last one. My grandparents are beep. Hmm. Ah, my grandparents are farmers. Okay, good job. That wasn't difficult. Okay. Sight word story. Now it's time for the sight word story. So let's read the sight word story together. Are you ready? 
Let's begin. The farmers were working in their fields. They were digging up yellow potatoes. The work was difficult. We felt sorry for them. Let's give them a present, says Lisa. We give them something cool and sweet to drink. Oh, good job. Okay. Okay, that's our lesson for today. Thanks for studying with me. See you next time. Bye bye. Hello, everybody. My name is Brian. Welcome to WorldCom Edu Sight Words Level Five. We are going to learn some easy words today. Are you ready? Let's begin. Today's words are summer, rope, isn't, wild, fresh. Let's start with summer. Summer is a season like winter, spring, and fall. Summer is the hottest season. The months of June, July, and August are in the summer. Our example sentence: We go to the beach in summer, or our summer vacation starts tomorrow. Next, we have rope. A rope is a long, flexible cord made of cloth or fiber. You can use a rope. To tie things together, for example, they are pulling the rope, or Dad used a rope to tie our suitcase to the car. Okay. Next, we have isn't. This is a combination of two words: is and not. We use this word with single people or things. It means that the person or thing cannot be described as being some way. For example, my sister isn't well today, or this tea isn't sweet. Okay. Our next word is wild. This word is used to describe a place, an animal, or sometimes people. It means that the thing we are describing is not under our control. We can't control what it will do or how it will act, so we have to be careful. Okay. For example, the wa the sorry the tiger is a wild animal, or the mountains are a wild area. Okay. Next. We use fresh to say that something is new and in good condition. The vegetables look fresh, or this milk does not smell fresh. Uh oh, <laughs> maybe throw it away, get new milk. Okay, so those are our words for today. Now it's time for practice and repeat. So let's practice. Repeat after me. Summer. We go to the beach in summer. Okay, good. Next, rope. They are pulling the rope. Okay, good. Isn't. My sister isn't well today. Okay, good job. Wild. The tiger is a wild animal. Yes. Okay. Good. Last one. Fresh. The vegetables look fresh. Okay. Very good job. Now it's time for review. 
So let's read some sentences. But wait, words are missing. Can we think of the missing words? For example, we go to the beach in beep. Hmm, what word can we use? Well, here are our study words. Summer, rope, isn't, wild, fresh. Which one can we use? Yes, we can use summer. We go to the beach in summer. Okay, good. Next one. The tiger is a beep animal. Hmm. Aha. The tiger is a wild animal. Yes. Okay. Be careful. Okay. Next. They are pulling the beep. Hmm. You got it. They are pulling the rope. Yes. Good. Next one. The vegetables look beep. Hmm. Ah. The vegetables look fresh. Good. Last one. My sister beep well today. Hmm. Aha. My sister isn't well today. That's too bad. Okay, but just example. Okay. So that's our review. Sight word story. Now it's time for the sight word story. So let's read the sight word story together. Are you ready? Let's begin. In the summer, we go to the mountains. The air is fresh and clear. My brother sees a pig. Let's catch it with a rope, he says. That isn't a good idea, says Dad. The pig is wild. It is dangerous. We leave the pig alone. Okay, good idea. Be careful about wild animals in the mountains, okay? Okay, that's our lesson for today, and that's our story for today. Thank you, as always, for studying with me. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hello everybody, my name is Brian. Welcome to WorldCom Edu Sight Words Level 5. We are going to learn some easy words today. Are you ready? Let's begin. Today's words are bright, dead, baby, sugar, case. Our first word is bright. This word is used to describe something. It means that when we look at something, there is a lot of light coming from it. Bright things are easy to see. For example, the sun is very bright. Or orange is a bright color. Next. We have dead. When something is dead, it is not alive anymore. For example, the flower is dead. Or after the fire, all the plants are dead. It's too bad. Okay, next. The next word is baby. A baby is a very new animal or person. A baby is very young. Usually, babies cannot care for themselves. Our example sentence, The mother is holding her baby. Or, The baby smells good. Okay. Next, we have sugar. <laughs> you know sugar. Sugar is something we add to food or drink to make it sweet. For example, Candies are made from sugar. Or, can I have some sugar in my tea? Finally, we have case. A case is a container that you put things into. 
usually a case is made to hold and protect one certain item or items. For example, my new pencil case is nice. Or, I keep my flute in a case. Okay, those are our words for today. Now it's time for practice and repeat. So let's practice. Repeat after me. Bright. The sun is very bright. Okay, good. Next, dead. The flower is dead. Okay, good. Next, baby. The mother is holding her baby. Okay, good. Sugar. Candies are made from sugar. Okay, good. Last one. Case. My new pencil case is nice. Okay, very good job. Now it's time for review, so let's read some sentences together. But wait! Words are missing as usual. Okay, can we think of the missing words? For example, candies are made from beep. Hmm, what word can we use? Well, here are our study words. Bright. Dead. Baby. Sugar. Case. So, which one can we use? Yes, we can use sugar. Candies are made from sugar. Okay, good. Next one. The flower is beep. Hmm. Aha. Uh -huh. The flower is dead. Next one. My new pencil beep is nice. Uh -huh. My new pencil case is nice. Okay, good. Next one. The sun is very beep. Hmm. You got it. The sun is very bright. Okay, good. Last one. The mother is holding her beep. Hmm. Ah. The mother is holding her baby. Yes, very good job. Sight Word Story Okay, now it's time for the Sight Word Story. So, let's read the Sight Word Story together. Are you ready? Let's begin. Oh no, says Jenny. Our fish is dead. Really? says Mike. I fed it sugar yesterday. You can't feed sugar to a fish, says Jenny. What about the baby frog, asks Mike. What baby frog, asks Jenny. I put a baby frog in your oboe case, says Mike. Why, asks Jenny. It's too bright in our room, says Mike. You are a really strange little brother, says Jenny. <laughs> okay, that's a very strange story. Okay, well, that's our story for today, and that is our lesson for today. I hope you enjoyed learning those words. Thank you, and see you next time. Bye-bye.